COVID-19 stage four restrictions, has it killed the property market in metropolitan Melbourne? I'm Adrian from One Agency, and today I'm gonna to explore this and a number of other topics. I'm gonna to give you an update on our local property market and what to expect from real estate over the next four to five weeks. Now we know that stage four has forced upon us implications as a real estate agent and restrictions on how we operate. We can no longer physically take anyone through a property or facilitate that actually happening, whether that property is for sale or for rent. What we are allowed to do is help people facilitate settlement of a transaction that was signed on before stage four restrictions actually kicked in place. So if you still need to do a final inspection, if you are still requiring a building inspection, they can all take place if the property and the contracts were signed pre-stage four restrictions. Now, if you've got a rental property and you're trying to get it leased out, we physically can't take anyone through, but we are still able to get your property leased out. Now, Braden from our office has done three this week where he's actually been able to facilitate getting someone settled into a property from a rental perspective. If you wanna know how that operates, please, at the end of this, pick up the phone and give me a call, or give Braden a call. Now, let's take a look at what's going on in the property market. We know that earlier in the year, when COVID-19 first kicked in, that March, April, and May became very quiet listing months. We know that as we moved out of a stage of restrictions, that July became a particularly strong month in terms of listings and property coming on the market, especially in summary. Now, August, I dare say, because we're now in stage four restrictions through to the middle of September, that that's gonna be a very, very quiet period from new property going up. In fact, in the last week, which is the first full week of the restrictions, we haven't seen one property go live from a residential perspective. The only properties that you're seeing actually pop up now on realestate.com at the moment are vacant land and development sites. Now, what is that gonna mean? Well, we know on average in Sunbury that we transacted about 60 transactions a month. So you can anticipate that after a six week period, there's gonna be 90 transactions that haven't taken place. And then we're gonna walk into the spring super selling time of the year that's gonna at least bring another 100 transactions. So my view on this is that it's gonna be a very hectic period once we come out of stage four restrictions. And this is also based on the fact that the activity on realestate.com today is 61% up on what it was last year. I'm gonna repeat that, 61% up on what it was last year. So we know that that pent up demand is actually gonna push buyers into the market. Another supporting factor of that is over the last week, we've had quite a number of inquiries from buyers registering with us and giving us their criteria about the type of home they want. And this ranges from properties from 450,000 where people are looking at investment or first home owner opportunities right through to the million dollar plus market from people looking to move out of inner Melbourne and to get out into the sprawling countryside or suburbs that have got a little bit more space, particularly like ours in Sunbury. Now there's been a lot of news around property prices dropping across the country. Now what I'd like to say on that, first of all, is that any property prices that are gonna adjust or fall are largely gonna be localised. Markets like Sunbury, that's increased over the last month, our median price, increased to 559,000. Places like Ballarat and Bendigo and Geelong are all, have all gone up in value. And places like Nidri, which are inner Melbourne, has actually fallen. So you can actually see that there's gonna be a mixed bag in terms of where properties are falling and the effect that it's gonna have on prices. The Commonwealth Bank earlier in the year predicted that we would be looking at up to 30% price reductions. This was revised in the last week to about 10 to 15% from the top to the bottom of the price market. So that's an interesting fact that that's been revised even after stage four restrictions. Now, another indicator that the market could perform really well when we come out of stage four restrictions is when we look over the Tasman and look at New Zealand and have a look at what's going on in their market. I know for a fact after talking to a number of agents that the property prices have actually soared in Auckland, the activity has soared and the market is actually booming over there at the moment. So it's a really strong indicator that we're gonna have a good 
and very active market when we eventually get out of these stage four restrictions. Now, a big shout out to our healthcare workers. They are our last line of defense against COVID-19 and they are continually putting their lives and that of their families on the line to protect us from this pandemic. So please do the right thing and support them by staying at home and abiding by the restrictions. I'd also like to offer our condolences to the families that have lost loved ones to this pandemic. Our heart goes out to you. I'm Adrian from One Agency and if you need any help guiding through the next five weeks of these restrictions, there are plenty of tools I have available to help you. I'm available for private consultations with regards to sales and purchasing. Our property management team's on standby waiting and ready to help you. And we've got our whole team actively working together to support you and ensuring that we're there with the information that you need to get you through. I'm Adrian from One Agency. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. And today, I'm grateful for the team that I have behind me continuing to support us from remote locations.